everybody. Welcome to AM Buffalo. We are live on the road this morning in Amherst. That's right. Amherst kind of Snyder because we're actually on the uh, the campus of Damon College, which actually shares space with Musical Theater, uh, Fair Theater, and that has a lot to do with today's show. We always enjoy being on the road. Mm -hmm. We have been everywhere this summer, and we're super excited to announce that we will be on the road again this fall, and this yeah. is one of our first stops. Yeah, you know, and this is really, I mean, it's not raining today, but it's beautiful. Kids are on their way into class. We're standing in front of the Freedom Bell, which is behind us, which is kind of uh, right in front of Rosary Hall between us and Musical Fair. It's a perfect spot for a theater. And I understand Pump Boys and Dinettes is their first production of this uh, wonderful theatrical season. And we're going to be talking with Randy Kramer in just a few minutes. Yeah, there really is so much talent here in mm -hmm. Western New York and so many fun places to visit in and around this area. We're going to be taking a trip to the Amherst Museum, History Museum. There's a lot to learn there, of course. And I hope you're hungry this morning because Wheatberry Bake Shops is back in town and That's we right. are excited to meet with them too. All <laughs> right, so we've got all this going on. I think, though, our first stop will be the Amherst History Museum. Sounds good to me. Let's see what they have in store. Welcome to the 1860s when the Erie Canal was thriving and Western New York was filled with farmers. The Erie Canal, so many people came down the canal and went west. Um, and so this is as far as culture, as far as industry, Western New York is so exciting and we're trying to bring as much of that to life as possible. The Buffalo Niagara Heritage Village has been bringing Western New York's past to the present for 40 years. The museum is interactive with outdoor and indoor exhibits. Uh, museums of old were about you go in and you see things, you see artifacts. The, where do museums have to go? They need to become experiential places. They need to become education sites. They need to become um, community centers. This new exhibit highlights how food goes from the farm to your table. Where does food come from? It doesn't come from a grocery store. It comes from your hands and working with the ground and it's been that's been happening for thousands of years celebrating the farm to table and and teaching children and families where food comes from is is so important the town of amherst is a perfect location for the museum to keep growing it is a major economic powerhouse and there's a lot of history here because of the Erie Canal, because of the 90, because of the city of Buffalo. There is so much history here. 